Visit CCG Castle .com and get 5% discount on your purchase with TCG Center 5 code. Check read the description or visit CCG Castle for more. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. In this video, we'll be looking at the deck that can attack for free without a single energy card. And this is gonna be Alolan Radicate Enhanced Fang deck. So, it's a pure madness to see this card in action. Um, Radicate looks like he just, you know, it big Snorlax and he also looks very mad not sure why but anyways uh, with Enhanced Fang you can hit for 10 plus 50 if you have tool cards attached on the Radicate. on the other side if we have choice but we can hit for 30 extra damage in theory we can go up to 100 to actually 90 with some other cards like Professor's Kukui we can even add 20 more damage but that's not gonna be the case in this build and also some other cards can be the part of this build for example Bursting Balloons because then we can hit for 60 and force our opponent to take 60 more which can be 120 in total and in return knock off with the um, Choice Band we can hit for 90 which can be more than enough for the one hit knock against 210 HP Pokemon like Zora GX for example. But I just decided to add some crushing and enhanced hammers with four copies of Puzzle of Times instead of Kukui's and Bursting Balloons, but you should definitely also check the version with the um, Bursting Balloon as well. So 4-3 Redata with a free retreat and Alolan Radicate as our main attacker. Um, there is one interesting card in this deck as a tech card, which is a Hypno. With a good night baby's ability, we can simply leave both active Pokemons asleep. Um, which is a very good thing, because if we have Chaos Tower in play, we cannot be affected by the sleep condition, and then we can simply hit our opponent for 90 or 60 without energy cards, disrupt his energy cards in play with the crushing and enhanced hammers, and also potentially leave him in the active position affected by the sleep condition as well. There are also one, uh, two copies of Remorides and two Octillaries without a Bezel hand for the extra draw support and that's our Pokemon lineup. 4-3 Eradicate, 2 line, two, two line of the Hypno as well as the Remorite and Octillery. 4-2 Crushing and Enhanced Hammers uh, lineup also sounds like a good idea, especially because we can knock a lot of energy cards from our opponent Pokemon in play. There is a lot of different uh, cards that can help us to set up, so I'm running 4 copies of Ultra Ball with 2 copies of Nest Ball as well as 2 copies of Evo Soda. So, a lot of good options to set up as well. 1 copy of Field Blower so we can discard any potentially um, Stadium or um, tool from our opponent Pokemons in play. Um, also four copies of Puzzle of Time so we can grab any two cards at any time as long as we have two Puzzle of Times at the same time from our discard pile in our hand obviously. Um, two copies of Rescue Stretchers and three Stadium cards that I mentioned earlier. There are eight tool cards in total. I'm running four copies of Choice Bins and four copies of Flow Stones for the free retreat with those Hypnos, Hypnos and Octillaries. Um, flow Stones might be substitute for something like uh, I don't know, there are also a couple more good. Um, there are a couple more good um, tool cards that can be used um, in this build. For example, the one that can reduce the opponent attack for 40, that Pokemon have special energy available. But somehow being able to retreat is very crucial for this deck. Anyways, um, there is a lot of Drow supporters, I'm running actually 11 of them, 4 Cynthia's, 4 Ends, and 3 Professor Sycamores, 2 copies of Guzma, and that's pretty much it, it's your energy cards you can see. 45 trainer cards, 15, energy, uh, 15 Pokemons and 0 energy is just because Radicate can attack for free with Enhanced Fang. And that's pretty much the deck list that I'm gonna use in this video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos, let me know in the comments below also what you think about this deck. So let's move on to the game test so you can actually see how this deck works in action. So see you in the game. So I'm starting first and just wondering what type of the hand I can get. Um, one Remorite with Flowstone. Okay. Not bad. At least I have opportunity to retreat and the way to retreat out from the active position. Yeah, I'm gonna put Stadium in play as well and then I'm gonna play N so I can refresh my hand because this hand looks completely mess. Um, I didn't get... Oh, I didn't get Pokemon! 
Wow, are you kidding me? Right now I'm actually very concerned, but at least I have Anna for the next turn, so that's something. Speaking about something, Azorak GX featuring Lycanroc, this is gonna be such a boring matchup once again. Um, Alright, so one Guzma and Enhanced Hammer discarded. I hope that my opponent is gonna attach one energy so I can simply use Crushing or Enhanced Hammer before I even attempt to go with my N. Well, very nice, there's a field blower. Undertake, 99% Sycamore, 90% Cynthia. I don't even know if he plays Sycamore in his deck. Oh nice, there is a, there is a strong energy which is gonna be knocked out by my Enhanced Hammer, which is a very important thing. There we go. Very important to knock off my opponent energy cards. Mm, once again, very bad hand. But at least this time, I have this Ultra Ball available, and I'm gonna discard these two cards so I can grab myself artillery. In addition to artillery, I can drop three extra cards. I didn't want to throw out my Cynthia, just in case. What if I don't get draw support for the next turn? You know, um, there we go. There's a red attack. Okay, so far so good. I'm probably gonna lose my artillery. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, only one uh, one double cores energy in Zorak is all my opponent needs, and obviously one more Pokemon on his bench. But okay. Um, I already managed to discard one of his special energy cards, and that's a strong energy. Okay, so he also decided to play that, and if I only knew that he's gonna play N, I would probably use Ultra Ball for maybe one more Emerite. Never mind, just because I managed to pull another one. Okay, there's a Pearl City. A little bit tricky with the Pearl City, just because, you know, when you have a Pearl City, you're limited down to the three Pokemons on your bench. My turn once again. So I actually pulled a very nice combo right there. Um, we're not gonna go with the Nast Ball, we're just gonna go with another Edita on the bench and one Abyssal Hand. I'm ready to strike my opponent for like a 90. There's also a Crushing Hammer, and it was very successful Crushing Hammer, so we're gonna retreat. And that's gonna be one Enhanced Fang for 90. There we go. Two energies so far knock it out for my opponent Pokemons on play. And there is another trade. So far so good, so far so good, definitely. I just need somehow to find a way to get that stadium from play. And there's a Lycanroc, I wouldn't be surprised to see Lycanroc on my artillery, as expected. Luckily I have another Emerite in my hand available, so that's gonna be very important for me. All right, let's go with the Rattata, just because he have for a treat. Very nice top deck as well. Fresh hand with six new cards with the Cynthia play. Crushing Hammer as well. Now I have a lot of luck with those Crushing Hammers. Really can't say nothing against that. Um, we're gonna go with the Rescue Stretcher and with one Enhanced Fang. So another timer ball. Can my opponent bring maybe in play another knockout with Lycanroc on my ram right? We shall see. But so far I managed to knock three of his special energy cards. So 100% play with those crushing hammers and there we go with another round of the N. So he just played another N. Ooh, that hand is... Uh, th th this hand looks very powerful. I mean, reduced bidding is gonna be for 120. The good thing is that he's also gonna be knocked out. There we go. Let's 
go. I also managed to top deck Octillery. That's amazing. Alright, so what do we need here? We need Floatstone. I'm searching for maybe a couple more Pokemons to expand my bench. For example, a Ramorite. Mm, Alright, let's see. Puzzle of Time. Oh, what a mess. Another Puzzle of Time. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go with Sycamore for 7. Actually, no, I'm not gonna go with the Sigmar for 7. I'm just gonna knock my opponent out with that Enhanced Fang anyways, and take two prize cards. Um, just because... Ooh, bad, 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 bad thing. I should better go with Sigmar for 7, because if he knocks me out, I'm not gonna have attacking Pokemon available, which might be bad thing. But... But, there's a puzzle of time, and if there's gonna be two puzzles at the same time, Obviously Zorak and Energy will hit the play and then I'm probably gonna be knock it out, which is not good at all But still I have Hypno available, which might be, you know, a backup solution But still my opponent needs to get one more Pokemon in play in order to knock my Eradicate out, which is not gonna be super easy Oh, there is a Bridget And can he bring another Zoru on the play? He can, and there's a Radius Bidding all right, luckily I have Floatstone available. Very interesting. Okay, I can't play my Evo Soda, um, but I can play my Abyssal Hand. And then I can play once again Puzzle of Time. Crushing Hammer is a top deck. Well, not that bad, because I can grab that Crashing Hammer with my um, Artillery, oh, yeah, with the one in the active position. I might be lucky with another Heads on the coin flip, and I will be. Um, yeah, the rest of the cards in my hand are just not good, so I need to refresh my hand. I did that. But unfortunately, I don't have a way to put Pokemon on the bench. Which might cost me a game here. At least he didn't wake up. And there's a two... Four energies in his discard pile, plus two puzzle of times. So let's say that one of his four puzzles are actually prized. So he passes the turn. I didn't wake up. I didn't wake up, but I have a way to... Wakes up. I'm gonna Ultra Ball. Alright, I'm gonna Ultra Ball for Hypno. But before I Ultra Ball for a Hypno, first I'm gonna obviously put my opponent in a sleep mode with a good night baby's ability. Then I'm gonna evolve. And then I also have two Abyssal Hands available, I just need that Stadium or Field Blower somehow. Unfortunately I didn't get, so I'm gonna play that N. Oh, seriously? I mean, still Abyssal Hand can be drawn for one card. Hmm, not good. Where are my stadium cards? I'm just wondering. What is going on? Why I cannot find my stadium? Because I have two already in my discard pile. There's a trade. Top Lily discarded for another Zorark. Obviously he needs double cores energy, but when he get double cores energy, I already have my enhanced hammer ready. But he is very close to be down to two price cards. If I can maybe get at least one more turn, so I'm gonna lose two flow, uh, flow stones. Oh, that's a very powerful play. This is something I was not... Okay, so I have Cynthia one more time. One more time, give me the field blower or stadium card. I need it so badly, and there we go. There is a field blower, finally. But the problem is that the rest of the cards in my hand are just not good, and I'm gonna play that good night, babies. And that's gonna be it. 
Or maybe not. Let's take the risk with that one Abyssal Hand. I want one Ratata on the bench. Mmm, not the Raticate, but the Ratata. Okay, so he didn't wake up, which is a very promising thing, especially if he don't have Guzma available. Still, right now, my opponent needs two cards. Maybe Guzma and... Double Core Energy. So, there's another trade. So, what I get here, pretty much nothing, another round of the Cynthia, um, okay, at least I have Rattata available right now, so I'm gonna put my opponent in the sleep mode once again, and more than that, I'm gonna pass the turn, so this is a very close game, no doubt about it, um, I have only 8 cards remaining, which is not good, I lost a lot of draw support. But I still have like two puzzle of times. I hope at least I have another puzzle of time available. And there's another trade for my opponent. So he is down to only eight cards. Oh, I wish I have something like a Team Rocket Handiwork so I can knock a couple cards from his deck. So he's still asleep. So he needs two cards. He needs Guzma, obviously, and one copy of Double Core's Energy in order to attack. There is a Lycanro, which might be for my Rattata, but still, he just decided to grab another Hypno. Mmm, alright. And a Mellow, so he can get any two cards in the top deck that he wants. I can't knock his Rakruf out, but I can definitely grab his Lycanro out. I'm just wondering how smart this will be. Um, which is a very nice question. We're gonna go with one Abyssal Hand. Okay, there's a Radicate. We're gonna go with one Guzma, and that Guzma needs to be... Let it be for Zorark, actually. Very risky play, um, very, very risky play, because obviously he's gonna get double quartz energy top deck, maybe even Guzma, who knows, but I have an enhanced hammer ready to knock the double quartz energy out. So there's a floatstone, and there's another trade as well. If I don't have another puzzle of time available, I'm gonna lose this because I'm not gonna have a way to recover some of the cards back into my deck. For example, one Rescue Stretcher and maybe one N as well. Radius bidding for 120, more than enough for the knockout. I mean, even Stadium card would help a lot. Really, it would. Okay, good night, babies. And last two puzzles. I'm gonna get Rescue Stretcher and one copy of the N. Hmm, but more than that, N. I also need. Well, I'm gonna gamble. If I don't have tool available, I'm not gonna be able to do any damage. Fortunately, do I really need that rescue stretcher? Yes, I need it. I 
Bizzle hand, come on, give me the Raticate. Not the Guzma, but the Raticate. Cynthia, for fresh hand of six, give me the Raticate. Yeah, there is a Raticate, but there is no tool card. Which basically means I can hit for 10. Ah, he managed to wake up. Oh, at the end of the game, I didn't have that choice band because I just realized that it was attached on my Hypno on the bench. Not even Floatstone available. Obviously, two puzzle of time play for my opponent are gonna be more than enough. I still have like one crashing hammer in my deck left, so yeah, good for that. And I'm losing my last attacker here. Um, but it was a definitely good game. It was definitely a good game. I mean, you know, uh, bursting balloons would make some more sense. With the bursting balloons, you can just, you know, add more damage if your opponent wants to attack you. Makes a lot of sense. Um, taking card, which means I'm gonna have two cards. Top deck is a crushing hammer. It is a heads. I'm gonna put his Zora on the sleep. Now, actually, I'm gonna put his uh, Lycanroc in the active position and in the sleep mode. But basically, still, any sort of the Guzma play with uh, double cores energy can bring my opponent victory. Even a float stone, for example, and a double course energy play. Uh, it was a very disruptive game for my opponent, that's for sure. Um, from the beginning of the game, he had a lot of problems, you know. Um, but at the end, he managed to win the game because obviously Zorak is a much more better than the Raticate. It can deal much more damage, but probably the game would go in a much different way if there was a couple bursting balloons available on my side of the deck. So thanks for watching, make sure to hit the thumbs up and sub the channel for more videos. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this deck. So till the next time, have a nice day and goodbye.